Uh, our next speaker is uh, Emma Kuroka. Um, she wants to get real close and personal, so she'll be speaking from down here. But just a little bit on Emma. Um, anyone here from the Kingdom of Tom? <laughs> Emma, was, uh, Emma was raised in the Kingdom of Tom, where she completed her secondary school um, education. Um, she started her studies at UC in the College of Science, where she completed her Bachelor's um, of Science, um, majoring in Microbiology and Environmental Science in 2012. In 2013, she completed her Bachelor of Science with first class honors in environmental science. She is now studying towards a Master of Education in the College of Education with support of our Tongan Government Scholarships. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Emma. Hi, everyone. Um, what, are you, what are you passionate about? It's hard to see your faces, so I'm not too sure how you're responding to that question being blinded by the light here, but what are you passionate about? Uh, when I saw his face in the psych ward, I wondered as I visited my childhood friend in there, if he didn't drop out in year 13 at our high school, if he wasn't getting high on everything from legal things to illegal things, would he have been there? Would he have been in the psych ward if he didn't drop out in year 13? What are you passionate about? I see my cousin, when I look at her face, I wonder if she's raising her daughter as a single mom. I can't help but wonder, would she be where she is if she didn't drop out of school in year 11? What are you passionate about? As I look at my country where I grew up, the Kingdom of Tonga, I was proud to be raised up there, completed my education there. When I see my country going after foreign policies, when I see them going after foreign values, when I see them leaving the wisdom of the Bible and our ancestors that we grew up in, I can't help but wonder, would we be in that position if the people who were writing our curriculum, the people who were writing our policies, if they had their eyes open a bit earlier in the beginning? What are you passionate about? Ladies and gentlemen, maybe here today you're thinking, and this girl has so many questions. <laughs> Tell us something. <laughs> um, these are the things that I'm passionate about. These are the reasons why that I came um, into studying at the College of Education, because I realized with doing some postgraduate studies that I could actually begin to think of solutions to some of these problems. The reason, um, so Ash asked me to speak on why I decided to do a Master's of Education. And I can honestly say that it started a long time ago, um, seeing my friends and my family is going through these situations. But it also started one day when I was doing my honors and I was real stressed out and I just went to my room. I wanted to um, just play the guitar um, and just spend some time with God really just refreshing and trying to get some strength to go back into the lab. And uh, when I was there, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to dream again. I just thought, you know all those passions that I came with from Tonga, all the things I've seen, I don't really want that to go to waste. And in that time, that's when I began to think of doing a Master's of Education. It may sound funny and maybe some of you can't really relate to all of that, but I wonder if you can relate to this. Would you take a risk for what you're passionate about? Would you come, consider coming and doing a degree that maybe even your family, <laughs> your government, your teachers, your friends are like, man, what are you doing? <laughs> Would you take that risk? Um, that's my question to you tonight. And I took that risk, and I'm not too sure where this journey will lead me to. But um, what I want to encourage you guys all with, whether you come and study at the College of Education or not, I'd encourage you, you know, just get to know um, the staff at UC. Get to know people who care about you, who are older than you. Um, get to know your passions. What are the experiences you've had? Maybe your education doesn't have to be completely separate to that. Maybe you can pursue something, take a risk, and pursue what you're passionate about. Malo and Opat.